Hi guys, welcome back. So I recently moved to Edinburgh and I thought I'd do one of those the life updates kind of videos. Okay, so firstly, excuse the backdrop. Yeah, I've recently moved to this flat and yeah, I'm just trying to like experiment with the best place to put the camera, all the little different setups. Um, I really need to get some plants. So once I get a bunch of plants, I'll probably use that as a backdrop. But for the time being, we're gonna do this. So why did I move to Edinburgh? It's, it's a bit random really. So for a while now, I've been applying for loads of random jobs from civil engineering to content creation to like all sorts of other stuff. Somehow out of nowhere, a recruitment agency basically pops up and say like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, if you're interested, we actually got like two of these companies who want to have an interview. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, sick. So long story short, I ended up getting a bunch of offers. Some of those places have been around Midlands area, one of them being in Warwick. So I actually went to Coventry for university and I was like, you know what? That feels a bit too safe. And another company which approached me was um, a company which is up north, like civil engineering consultancy. So I was like, you know what? Sounds quite cool. Well, I don't really know anybody in Edinburgh. I've never been, but I always wanted to go. And it's about like seven hours away from where I live. So like, you know what? Yeah, fuck it, why not? At least I'll move here for the summer and see what happens. I signed the contract and I had about three weeks from the time signing to the time I'll be starting a job. <laughs> okay, so now moving on to the next part, the actual move. Just like with anything else in life, I end up saving this until the very last moment. You know what, what's the saying? Oh yeah, diamonds are made under pressure. So you know what, this is no different really, is it? Right, so I had about three weeks for me to first get a car and secondly get accommodation in Edinburgh. So I thought this is easy enough, let me just go in spare room and just figure out a place to stay. So firstly, the first week went by, I was just kind of looking at different places, I'm like where I would like to stay, blah, 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 blah. Like I've never been to Edinburgh, so I don't really know what's good or what's bad, but I'm like, you know what? Uh, right next to, I even want to stay near the meadows where like really nice park. And the second one being next to Arthur C, which is just like a little hill kind of overlooking whole of Edinburgh. What I didn't realize, those areas are incredibly high demand, especially during this time where all the university students are trying to get accommodation for next year. Okay, so yes, yeah, so after the first week goes by, I'm like, oh, okay, cool, let me start looking a bit more intensively at all the accommodations, same time as looking for cars. And you know what, it goes okay, it doesn't go great. Some people get back to me, some people don't, like, okay, it is what it is. It didn't really hit me that I'm moving to Edinburgh until a week, until actual move. So I was like, fuck, I probably should start doing this a bit more heavily. And yeah, it was at the same time, my parents and I actually were going on a holiday to Venice to go see some family friends. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, I have plenty of time to actually get all this going when I'm there. No, nope, <laughs> definitely not, not the case. Uh, ends up being like really intense. We end up like going to loads of different places, seeing loads of different things, and I'm only having like maybe an hour or so every day to actually like do this. And <laughs> I literally a day before we set to come back from Venice, I managed to come across this car on Autotrader and I'm like, fuck, okay, this, this is actually incredible. Like, this, if the car is as good as it is, you know what, it might be the one. So, okay, this potentially one stressor might be out of the way, but again, I'm looking at house as well, which is fuck, another really big headache. For some reason, I didn't actually quite realize how high in demand kind of housing is in Edinburgh. I was speaking to one of the landlords and she was saying, she's like, oh yeah, by the way, I had about 50 messages just about this house. What? <laughs> yeah, I just didn't really, Think that hard okay so okay okay and then we end up coming back to venice so on the drive back home uh we go through peterborough which is like a town well a city i guess the city yeah next to where i live so i'm gonna go for there having a look at the car i'm like wow the car's really good perfect say no more i'll sign it <laughs> like beggars can't be choosers at this point and that ends up happening so that's fantastic so the car is done and dusted okay now next part the accommodation okay <laughs> so now it comes to about a day before I actually move. I keep looking at housing, but nothing really comes up. <laughs> Again, I don't, I don't recommend this, right? So I end up, end up going Airbnb, and luckily enough, there's just Airbnb right in the town where my work is, literally just outside of Edinburgh. I'm like, this is incredible. Let me just go speak to this guy. I'm like, if it is, if everything kind of checks out, let, let me just stay there for like two weeks, and then I'll kind of figure out the place to stay afterwards. I end up staying on a travel lodge for one night because that Airbnb was booked up. And then I end up um, actually getting the Airbnb, which is, okay, cool. <laughs> Here's what it is. Now I have the next kind of like deadline is in those two weeks, I need to find some sort of accommodation. So over the next couple of weeks, I end up going through the motion of just arranging a bunch of viewings, bunch of virtual viewings, etc. And one of the places I come across is this place right here. Um, a guy called Mac, by the way, absolute legend, Mac, if you're watching this, absolute legend okay so i have the virtual viewing yeah the place is right not really in the best state but you know what you need some love and need some care so over the next couple of weeks i'm probably just gonna get a bunch of plants and then just populating um the flat with a bunch of plants and i think that will improve the vibes you know so what i learned from this 
don't save things until the very last moment, especially when you need to buy a new car, because cars are like 10 times more expensive now since, I don't know, they're just more expensive. And real estate and just housing and rent in Edinburgh is just incredibly tough to actually get. Okay, now my plans of what's gonna be happening over the next next bit of me kind of living here. So I am actually haven't got the job for that long. Well, I accepted another job, which starts in September. So I'm planning to do this for around like two to three months uh, and then planning to kind of finish quit in around August time. And then during August, I um, really want to do two things. One of them just travel and then focus on YouTube. And then the other big one being, I wanna start looking at creating sort of like ads agency uh, and then kind of scaling that and maybe talking about the whole experience on this YouTube channel, which I think would be quite cool. Yeah, so the main thing is like, kind of wanna make the most out of Edinburgh, just kind of meet new people, kind of explore the city and also wanna go like up north. And another thing, like one thing I didn't realize, right? So I thought Edinburgh is quite up north for me, right? Cause I live in like Midlands, right? And turns out there's even more north. What? <laughs> because I feel like I live in the Midlands, anything past like Newcastle seem like the same place basically. <laughs> so if, if I wanna go to like Ben Nevis or somewhere like that, it like takes me about three hours, which is just absolutely nuts. Another thing I really want to do is do the NC500, which is literally just a drive along the north coast of Scotland. Uh, it's just like about 500 miles and I wanna do that. Maybe August, maybe a bit sooner, so who knows. So in the next two weekends, I'm actually going to London. So one weekend being, I have a networking event, just PTA, which is part-time YouTube Academy, on Friday and spend a bunch of time with friends over that weekend. And the following weekend, I've got my Gold Duke of Edinburgh presentation, which is has been a long time. Um, I was supposed to have it literally just after everything shut down, I think in March 2020, but two years since, I could finally have the presentation, which I'm really looking forward to. Now it's going to be in Buckingham Palace, which is just fantastic. Yeah, and another thing I'm quite excited about is just the train journey because it's it's about four hours uh, each way. So that means I can have like four hours of like solo work done. So editing, reading, scripting, kind of stuff like that, which is going to be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to see another video, maybe while I learn from making 20 YouTube videos, I'll have a link right here.